We are now on pads 13.24 and here is five of the best comps that you want to play to climb the ladder. The first one is Pentakill with either Mordekaiser or Karthus as the headliner. What we are looking for here is 7 in Pentakill and we can choose between hitting a Mordekaiser earlier to play around him and get him to 3 star or go to a fast level 8 and pick up Karthus as the headliner. This comp was really good in the last patch and will probably do quite well here on the new patch. We have a buff on Viego and that is why we are also putting items on Viego. He primarily wants to have bruiser items and at least one healing item that could be hand of justice it could also be blood forester but else items like titans or steric is quite good we are putting similar items on mordekaiser but he can also use some sort of tanky slash ap items and that is why something like crown guard is quite good tank items will go on nico and we will obviously also play akali for two executioners here we want some sort of healing items or either something like a titan red buff is quite good as well if we get the chance to get an emblem we will put it on akali and take out something like either kale or olaf so that's the two other units that we're gonna play if we don't have this spatch do we not get the emblem we will just play for five instead and when we get to level nine we can choose to play seven in the pentakill if we do not have the spatch and that would just look like something like this and obviously, before we find Yorick, we are going to play Olaf instead to have the seven pentakills. Augments that we're looking for is a specific one, like Mitchell Heads. We can also go for something like Jewel Lotus or something where we are getting faster up in levels. That could be either Gold or Experience Augments. Are we having Mordekaiser as a headliner? We will get the Crown Guard for free. And are we playing Karthus as the headliner? We will get ourselves a Archangel for free. And that is doing to the super fans. And to quickly summarize, we want to have Mordekaiser to three star if possible, especially if he is the headliner. The other headliner can be Karthus. Are we getting ourselves Bruiser items? They will go on Viego. The same items could kind of go on Akali. Tank items will go on Nico. And that is more or less it. And obviously put in Yorick instead of Olaf as soon as possible. Next up we have Fast 9. And Fast 9 was definitely the strongest comp in the meta last patch. And that is why it's still kind of good. We do have a bit of a nerf on 6. And that is why we might want to play the AD version instead. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But are we playing the AP version? It still works. We are putting tank items on Ilawi. We are putting attack speed items on Sona. AP items plus mana items on 6. And then we're just going to play everything else that we can to buff up these units. This is a bit of a different version that I normally show. But here we are playing around Blitz, Echo and Gragas for a build up and then we're still gonna have in the jazz even it got a bit of a nerf but it's still super good augments is the main thing about this comp we want to go to a level nine fast as possible so we are looking for everything that gives us more time and more gold or more experience like tiny titans playing slate or budgets but everything else that gives us gold or experience is quite good the 80 version that we're looking for is this board this is the classic frontline, also the one that I showed you in the guide. Here we are playing two guardians, two bruisers, still tank items on Ilari and bruiser items on Yorick. And then we are putting our AD items on Jin. And we want at least one mana item if possible. That could be Sojin. It could also be blue buff. And then we have AP items on six. And that is more or less it. So to build up to this comp just fairly quickly is that we are grabbing as many two cost units as possible. We are do not roll. So we're going to spend all our gold on experience. Every time we hit 50 gold, we are using it for experience if it gets us to a next level. And then we from there just go up in levels as fast as possible and hit a strong board. You might want to change out your headliner at level 8. Let's say that you have been playing around an any headliner and you get to level 8, you will sell the any roll a few times and try to hit something that works. That could be maybe TF or it could be Karthus. And then you're gonna pivot your board slightly into one of these comps. So either playing around Karthus for Pentakill and Executioner, or you could pivot into something around Twisted Fate with Disco. And from here, you're slowly just gonna go into level nine and pivot into this board. When you see your change, you're gonna sell the headliner and roll again and see if you can hit a Jin or six 
headliner. It could also be a Lowry, but just whatever you can. And you don't have to play exactly this board, but could also just play something similar. It does just depends on what you're hitting earlier. If you want to see exactly how to play this board, you can see my full guide on that, which is my most popular video ever on YouTube. So check that out if you want to see how to play Fast 9. Next up, we have the Jazz Reroll. And this was one of the most public comps. I've already made a full guide on this one, so I'm just gonna go over the basic ones. The main thing is that we want to play around Bard or Misfortune. And what we wanna do is to get both of them to three star, especially Misfortune. Are we getting a Bard headliner? We are going for three star him as well. The main thing is that we want to have either of them as a headliner with Jess. That is by far the best one, but we can really choose. And if we are uncontested, we are definitely gonna play this board. If we are contested, we are probably just going to play this board and pivot it into a fast nine as well. So what you want to do is when you get to level six, you will try to roll a few times to get a headliner you can use. If you do not hit a headliner you can use at level six, you will just make your board stronger and go to level seven and once again roll down and see if you can find a headliner you can use. Before we hit Illusion, this is going to be our board when we are rolling at level seven to have the two units to three star. If we're playing around Bard and definitely having him as a headliner and getting a lot of Bard units, we can consider rolling at level six to hit him to three star first. Items that we're looking for is mainly tank items on the two frontline units. Lilia is just going to be someone who is giving them a few more seconds before they're dying. And around Misfortune and Bard, it's gonna be mana items, maybe an AP item. And for Misfortune, it's just gonna be straight up AD items. And Rage Blade is doing quite well, so consider putting that in. And else it's just gonna be something like Death Blade from the Superstars. And the super fan item for Bard is the Adoptive Helm. And you can also decide to play two of those if you have the chance. But else, this board, get them to three star and then put in Lucian for later. Are you going all the way to level nine? You can just put in either of the five costumes that are the strongest one. Maybe you only hit a sack, then you're gonna play around sack. Ilari, Kiana for a few items, whatever you hit. Augments, that's jazz, is still good. Bigger shots if you are playing around MF and return on investments just because you're gonna reroll a few times on level seven. And that's it. Next up, we have Disco with TF as the main carry. And what we're gonna look for here is to play around the Disco. And we can do that from the early stages where we have Tarek or Nami as the headliner. And when we get to level eight, we will sell our headliner and do a roll down. And what we want to hit is either Twisted Fate or Blitz as the headliner. And we do prefer to hit the Disco version if it splits. And for TF, it would be the same, but we can also decide to pick up the other one. The main thing is that we're hitting one of these two as our headliners. And then we're just gonna fill in whatever fits in these traits. And this is gonna be the full board. And what we're gonna look for especially is items for Twisted Fate, which can sit on Nami in the early game. And we can look for items for Blitz, which can sit on Tarek in the early game. When we come to the late game, we will pivot into having Ilari on the board as well, and just play everything that we can to buff up these two units. Other items that we're looking for is items for six. And before we are finding him, we can play something like Lux instead. And are we getting to level nine? We will put in something like Sona. Where we wanna put these guys is probably here in the side somewhere. And we can also put them as a bait if we are ending up playing versus something that's gonna snipe our backline in some ways, but else just use it as a bait or a front line. Are we getting more items than this? We could also play something like more tank items on Ilari. And are we getting more attack speed items? We could put in on Lulu or if we hit Sona on here. Static shift is not bad either, but try to get to level eight as fast as possible. Everything that gives us experience or gold is quite good in this board and else something like press test is quite good as well or a specific one from this board. The last one we're gonna look at is the KDA R board. And here we kind of want to have a KDA unit as our headliner. And that could be Ari in the best case, but it could also be Akali. What we're looking for is classic AP items for Ari. It is a quite easy build up. You're just gonna play around Annie. And if you hit Annie, you can either choose to go for the reroll comp, but else just gonna go into the seven KDA board. So items on Annie early, and when you get to level eight and do a roll down to hit your 
headliner, you're just going to pivot your items over. Else, we're going to look for bruiser items on Akali, a healing item plus two other damage slash tank items, and then we're going to go for the tank items on Nico. Seven in the board is like the thing that you have to have, else you're going to play something different. Getting gold or experience is still good. Get to level eight as fast as possible. Little bodies is quite good as well. Going to buff up our four cost units, depending on how many two and one cost units we have. And then Jewel Lotus is just an overall good one for this board. Are you in the situation where you are finding Akali as your headliner? You will take it and try to get to level 9 and play this board. That was all for now. If you want to see more top 5 comps, tier list, and guides on specific comps, you are more than welcome to check out my channel. And else, just have a nice climb. Thanks for watching.